Hey YouTube, you've got that funk. Sorry it's been such a long time since I've made a video. Using my webcam keeps crashing my computer. And uh, believe me, I've tried loads of times to make videos over the past three months. And um, I'm going to have to make this one as brief as possible uh, just to make sure I can get it done before my webcam crashes my computer again. Anyway, uh, for those of you who uh, are out of the loop, you know, I've been living in London now for the past year and a bit. And uh, I live in a shared house at the moment, uh, have done for virtually the whole of 2014. My roommate, whose house this is, whose belongings you see behind me, um, is a bit of a xenophobe and a racist. And learning to tolerate his viewpoints has been an extremely educative experience for me. It's quite challenging to me. But I see it as a good thing for me to learn this level of tolerance because I've been preaching tolerance my entire life and it's very easy to do that when you surround yourself with people who are of a like-minded disposition but when you're confronted on a literally daily basis with viewpoints that you find abhorrent um, it really tests your capacity for tolerance and I feel that I've grown as a person my roommate and I discuss issues we disagree about without ever coming to an argument about it. I think we both accept that we're never going to change one another's mind. And uh, we coexist quite peaceably on that basis. Having said that, uh, this has been an incredible challenge. One of my closest friends uh, that I've met since moving to London, her name is Kieran. And uh, one time she was going to come over and uh, hang out and spend the night with me. And um, my roommate is like, you know, are you fucking her? And I'm like, well, no, we're just friends. And he's like, what did you say her name was? And I said, Kira. And he said, what kind of name is that? And I said, well, she's of Indian descent, but she's British. And he's like, oh, so she's a Paki then. And I said, no, Kev. You know, she's British. She was born in this country. Her parents were both born in this country. Her grandparents moved here in the late 1950s from India. Oh, yeah, so she's a Paki then, he says. She's not really British. And, you know, I just put my head in my hands, and there's, I don't really even know how to, how to sort of confront that attitude because that is just blatantly ignorant and stupid, if you ask me. But it's how he feels. On a separate occasion, he was lecturing me one time about how we have to, in his words, send all the Pakis back. He thinks that about people of Indian descent, whether they've been born in this country or not. He also thinks that about everybody in this country who is Muslim. If you're a Muslim, you can't be British, as far as he's concerned. It amazes me just how many idiots there are in this country who think like this. And what I want to ask people of this sort of disposition, um, I've asked my roommate and he can't come up with a, a cogent answer to the question, but I mean, what do you think would be solved if you cleared all the Muslims out of the UK? What's that going to solve? What would that actually fix? How would the UK be a better place without its Muslims? Be they born here or otherwise, how would it be a better place? What would the improvement be? How would your life get any better if the Muslims were gone? Um, you know, let's leave out the logistical and practical and legal reasons why you can't just send them all back to where they came from, in quotation marks. But let's also consider the fact that, uh, you know, one of the things that um, makes the UK a desirable place to live in the first place is they have a relatively high standard of living here and a relatively high degree of personal liberty here compared to other parts of the world. If you value personal liberty, if you value freedom, freedom of thought, freedom of movement, freedom of association, freedom of expression, how can you possibly say that you value those things if you do not value, if you object to multiculturalism? I personally don't see how you can square that circle. If anybody out there in my audience wants to try to explain it to me, I will listen quite patiently to what you've got to say. Thanks for watching this video. I've got to keep it brief. Until next time, remember, if you only look at something from one side, the most you can see is half of it.